Okay, think of a number. All right, maybe uh, write it down because I don't. I don't want you to forget it. Right. Okay. Uh, add five to it. Uh, multiply by two. Uh, add six to it. And then cut it in half. Right. And then subtract the number you started with. Add a three. And right now, the number you have in your mind is the number 11. By the end of this video, you will also have the same power of reading minds. Well, I mean, at least to the same level that I do. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video of uh, a story of math, right? Where I, I try to tell you a story of mathematics, you know, where it begins, which is, I think, the whole point of these uh, prologue series, right? I mean, I, I guess this story doesn't end though, right? Because uh, there, there's always going to be mathematicians trying to find new things, right? But, uh, luckily for us, I think we're about done with this prologue series. In, in fact, uh, I'm making two more videos just because, you know, why not have a, an even number? If I think we already have an even number of them so far, right? Um, so, what I want to talk about in this video is... PEMDAS, right, um, it's kind of, like I said, you know, my channel is about where the math should, be, where it should begin, you know, a possible beginning, but, yeah, right, I think usually people start with PEMDAS, or at least that's what I've seen taught in some classes. Now, I'll be honest, I have a secret to confess. I think... I, it was only until my second, maybe even third year of college, of being a math major, uh, that I barely found out what PEMDAS was. You know, it's, I was just walking around with a friend. He was a computer science person, a major, I should say. And uh, yeah, we were walking around. We saw a car with a license plate that said PEMDAS. And then, you know, he told me, Oh, must be a math mathematician or math major, and I was I was confused because I had never heard of PEMDAS at that point. So I was I was even like, "What do you mean? Well, well, that's not what we study." And then he actually had to explain to me that it's some type of a uh, you know as steps, set of process, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, just to uh, help people do math. Yeah, so how did, I, how did I make it so far without knowing what PEMDAS was? Uh, 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 let's see here. I was maybe 13 when I came to the U.S., I think. So I was living I was living in uh, Mexico, in Guadalajara, if for whatever reason you need to know that. Um, and... They just put me in a in a in a algebra class right from the get go at at, at eighth grade. Let, let's if th this is not really a thing, right? But like in the second semester of eighth grade, that's when I came to the U.S. And yeah, uh, they just put me right there, like in uh, algebra where they learn about par uh, parabolas, right? And then I move on to a different middle school. They put me. <laughs> Now, they put me down because I'm an English learner. They put me down all the way to, like, uh, fractions, you know, learning about fractions, which is, it, again, eighth grade. That's that's when I learned how to do fractions, finally, believe it or not. And then when I entered high school, I started algebra, like, algebra one, like, from the bottom, from the very bottom. And, yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe they should have told me what PEMDAS was back then, but no one ever did. And honestly, I, I think I, I, I did fine without it. So yeah, maybe, I don't know. I, I just never found... I just never needed PEMDAS. So should I have done PEMDAS, you know, at the beginning of this whole series? Well, uh, again, my, I guess my gripe with PEMDAS is that it's... it's uh, I don't want to say... Is it an algorithm, I suppose, right? It sounds really close to logarithm, which is why I'm... It's funny to me, but yeah, it's an algorithm, right? You you know they tell you this before this before this before this. Whereas what I wanted to do with this YouTube channel is actually tell you, you know, math is not really about following step. You know, we're, you know, if that was the case, I think all math majors would have been, you know, substituted by machines by now. You know, 
uh, what we want to do is uh, well, the, the whole main I think I think what mathematic what the point of mathematics is is that you should uh, find out why things are true meaning prove them right so you know I started with sets because I think I think by now if you've seen all the videos you, you know why sets was a good idea to begin with you know but then the second thing I, I started was not with pandas maybe I should have done it but instead with axioms of real numbers right and like I said you know these axioms tells you okay these these 10 or 11 facts or I don't know how, how many were in total uh, these are facts that you can just use you know they're just so fundamental that they're true and we just kind of have to move on but then from there we can figure out more new stuff right okay so like I said if you think about it, PEMDAS is not an axiom, it's just a set of rules, set of steps to follow. So on top of the fact that it, that, that, I don't know, to me I feel like PEMDAS doesn't really uh, expand on your need for critical thinking, you know, you just gotta follow steps. Uh, the other, my, I guess my other grab with PEMDAS is that, the, at, least, at least how I've seen it in the classroom, you kinda only see it once at the very beginning. And you never write mathematics the way that you do it in that one first day of school, you know, where you write like 7 minus 3 plus 5 divided by 7 or uh, times 2 or like uh, parentheses 3 plus 5 and then another division sign divided by uh, 6, you know, like you don't, I guess my biggest problem with PEMDAS is that you, you know, well, well, you, well you, we definitely use the, the, the minus sign no one professionally does the division sign I mean I don't think so the only reason why you might write a division sign ever is to plug it in a calculator so that's you know again so why do you need PEMDAS or why do you need to know really all the letters from PEMDAS I mean division is probably the most problematic one really you know by now like I said if you've seen my video on fractions hopefully after that video you're not afraid of fractions anymore so I mean the only time you're gonna write a division sign really you might as well just write a fraction instead and actually uh, I think a fraction shows people oh you're dividing this by that you know yeah again that just the symbol I I, uh, I, I don't like it right I think that's obvious by now and I think it's just better to write a fraction when you say oh I'm dividing this by that instead of actually using the division symbol I, no one uses that division symbol except for that one day in school really all right hopefully this is not gonna turn out to be another 45 50 minute video right because uh, I think I think uh, that we we did the, the meat the meat and bones of what I wanted the prologue to be so if anything this this video and the next one are just like skin hair I don't know right um, this video is just gonna be all about me you know talking about pandas maybe hating on it I guess is the best way to put it um, I mean even your teacher will tell you it has some uh, a few uh, drawbacks right you know just just to be clear right like they'll tell you that you know multiplication and division M, right, PEM does, M comes before the D, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's always multiplication before division. Same thing with sub subtraction and addition, right? It's, it's actually, when it comes, so multiplication and division definitely take priority over subtraction and addition. It's just that which one takes priority, of, of, you know, between multiplication and division? Well, you know, we read from left to right. So I guess first come, first serve, that's, that's the rule, right? Uh, and then again, right? Uh, so, so those two multiplication division have a pecking order above addition and subtraction. But then again, between addition and subtraction, what's the pe you know, which one goes first? Again, you just leave it, leave it uh, left to right. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you, even your teacher has told told you that about PEMDAS. I've also heard from someone who teaches high school uh, that now they're calling them gem gemdas like the, instead of the P it's a G now they actually did divide by P and replace it with G how dare they but yeah right so again like I said I made it all the way to like second or third year of college 
without knowing what PEMDAS even was. So, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, we can skip it. In fact, we can call, we can talk trash about it. All right, so let's let's get to it, right? Okay, let's see if we can make a short video for once, right? So PEMDAS. I guess I should write it in capital letters, right? Uh, like I said, uh, I've been told that that this the the P might be different, but I mean, what does the P mean? So this is parentheses, right? This means exponents, so something like that, right? Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, right? That's what PEMDAS is, right? And, you know, supposedly what, the, the whole point is that, you know, you were supposed to take care of uh, parentheses first. Uh, and once you do take care of all parentheses, the next thing you should take care of is exponents. And once you take care of all the exponents, simplify them, then these ones, you know, this one takes priority, then this one, and this one, and this one, right? Well, I guess uh, right here, right now, we just... Uh, to clarify that actually well, it comes with multiplication and division right these these two are actually interchangeable and with, with addition and subtraction again these two are interchangeable meaning uh, actually you know uh, we we you know if you're watching this video maybe you speak English right and if you speak English you, if you can read English you read it from left to right meaning that if you're reading from left to right if division comes before multiplication, then you do the division first, actually. Well, same thing over here, you know. If there's a subtraction before there's a summation, then you do the subtraction first. Well, you know, that probably doesn't mean much unless I show you an example, right? So let's go back to my, uh, <laughs> my trick to read minds, right? So what did I do? I said, okay, think of a number, right? You, you know, you're not supposed to tell me what this number is. So let's just call it uh, A for now, right? Okay, so I told you, okay, this number, right? Don't forget what it is. Uh, add 5 to it, right? And then I said multiply by 2. Then I said, oh, okay, let's add 6. But then let's divide by 3. <laughs> okay, okay. I said uh, divide by 2. See, where did that three come from? I'm not gonna say, right? And then I said, okay, subtract the number that you had in mind, add a three, and then the number that you have in mind is 11, right? So you might think that, yeah, if you do all this mathematical uh, stuff, you should get 11 at the end, right? Well, <laughs> Okay, if, if we if we have something like this, right, and we try to follow PEMDAS, well, luckily for us, hey, look at that, there's no parentheses. I wonder how that happened, right? Uh, exponents, I didn't tell you to square or cube or anything like that, so there's no exponents. So now it's multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, so again, no parentheses and no exponents, right? So we should take, apparently according to PEMDAS, we need to take care of multiplication and division before we do anything else. So uh, sub subtract, uh, addition, nothing to see there, right? Multiplication, okay, okay, we're, we're reading left to right. So this should be uh, 5 times 2 is 10, right? Alright, what else should we take? Plus 6, okay, we can ignore that. 6 divided by 2, well that's 3, okay. Subtraction, addition, oh, alright. Uh, so it's number plus 10, and then plus a 3, minus the number, plus a 3. And again, supposedly this should be equal to 11, I, I assume, right? Well, actually, you know, this, you can kind of already tell that that's probably not going to happen. Um, again, if we're looking at PEMDAS, we're supposed to read from left to right. Uh, A plus 10, that's just A plus 10. I guess we can't really do anything about that, right? 10 plus 3, that should be 13. 
So we have a plus 13 minus a plus 3. And again, you know, at, at this point, well, you kind of know that these two are going to end up canceling, right? Uh, I don't know how really... If you go by PEMDAS instead of the axioms of real numbers, you know, can you really flip numbers? You know, is A plus B equals B plus A? But, okay, let's just, you know, get this over with, right? Because I don't want this video to be gigantic. Uh, so these two should eventually cancel, right? And you should, you're going to end up with 16. But 16 is not equal to 11, right? So what happened? Well, what happened is, you know, the first time... the So here's my gripe with PEMDAS, right? The first time you learn PEMDAS, someone, your teacher is going to give you something like that. And then they're going to tell you, okay, what's the answer? You know, they're not going to get, so they're not even going to say equals 11. They're just going to say, and, and, you know, to your, to your luck, they're not going to give you letters either. They're going to give you just straight numbers, but they're going to give you numbers. They're going to really, you know, simplify this until you get a number, right? So my gripe with PEMDAS, with this whole idea of PEMDAS is that actually, well, no one writes mathematics this way, you know? That's, that's, that's the only thing that I, I, I don't like to use the word cringe, but I cringe if someone were to write something like that. The only time you're going to write this is again on your first day of Algebra 1 or something like that, you know, of the lowest al Algebra class that you've ever taken. You're only going to do this once and never again. So, again, but, 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 right, 11 was the number that you were thinking, right? So how come we got 16? Well... Here's how people write math, you know, the correct way. So I'm just gonna, gonna have this as, you know, reminder what the instructions were, right? I said, you have a number, we have a number, right? So the number, you add five to it. Okay, so far the same, right? But then see, now that you have a number plus five, it becomes a different number, right? Like for example, if in your mind you had 10, 10 plus 5 will be 15, right? The next step is to multiply by 2. See, if I just multiply by 2 here, right? You said 10 plus 5, 15. 15 times 2 should be 30, right? Uh, but over here, right? If you kind of do it the PEMDAS way, right? This will be 10 plus 5 times 2, which is 10 plus 10, 20, right? So what, what's, what's the difference? Here's how you write math. The moment you say you have, you start with the number A, and then you said you add 5 to it. So A plus 5. A plus 5 is now a new number, right? It's it's this number that you're multiplying 2 to, right? So this number, A plus 5, whatever it may be, that's what you're multiplying 2. That's what you're multiplying by 2. That's what you're multiplying 2 to. Right, so again, you know, it's, it would actually be okay to, to write this, A plus 5 parentheses 2. But, you know, for some reason, people like to write uh, some type of numbers in front of the, mo the parentheses, right? So what I'm saying is that if you have a number, you add 5, and then you decide to add 2. I mean, multiply by 2. Double it, right? You can write that 2 times a plus 5. And again, you know, if you do the mental exercise, you know, substitute by 10, right? 10 plus 5 will be 15 times 2 will be 30, right? If you actually distribute this, you, you will still get 30, Okay, but you see what I'm saying? Um, so the instructions were, okay, you multiply by 2, then you add 6, right? So now this number, right, it's a whole new number. And then in this occasion, if you add 6 to it, okay, we're, we're, we're fine, right? But then the next, the next step is divide by 2, right? So how do we divide by 2? Well, it's this new number that we divide by 2. So you can write it. You can write it in this way. I, I guess you can write also, uh, you know, times one half. Uh, again, I really don't like using the symbol, but so if you, as long as you put a parenthesis, you can also write divide. You know, divide by two. But I think it's just best that when you write mathematical math, some type of mathematic uh, idea. Yeah, again, don't be afraid of fractions. That's why I did a whole video about fractions so that you're not afraid of it, right? Okay, so you divide by 2, and then what's the next step? You, you subtract by the number that you had in mind. Okay, so this whole number is now the number that, that, that you should be... <laughs> you should have added 6, divided by 2, blah, blah, blah. It's this number to which you subtract 
the, the number you had in mind, and then you add three. Now, if if you simplify this thing, you know, how would you simplify? You know, distribute the two, do a bunch of math. Eventually, you will get eleven. And that's and that's and that was you know the whole trick of it, right? So I mean, really, to summarize, to summarize, right? You had a number a. What did you do? It you added a five to it. What did you do after? You multiply two to it. So now, now that now it's that quantity. But after you multiply two to it, you added a six, right? So whatever this is, then you added a six, and then whatever this is. Whatever this whole thing is, this is what you divided by two by, and then whatever this was, you know, whatever this whole thing was, you subtracted it by a, and then again, whatever this whole thing was, Whatever this whole thing was, you added a three to it, right? So basically, you know what? What? What's? What am I trying to say in this video? Well, as you can see, this this is this is really where parentheses come from. You know, you see how I keep adding parentheses after parentheses after parentheses. It's it's because you know, <laughs> parentheses. You it's kind of like it's signaling. Okay, this is my space. You know, I don't know if you were ever at school where where they told you, hey, you know, when you're out in public. You should always have like what, like three, uh, six feet around you as a radius of, you know, this is my space. Well, that's kind of what a parenthesis is. It's kind of marking territory, you know. So how do you end up with parentheses inside parentheses? Well, exactly like this, because maybe you started with a quantity that you kept adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing to it to to become so that so that it becomes a new quantity, right? Every time you every time you you're doing something to it, you should you should uh you know, put more parentheses to indicate, okay, now this is the new quantity. Um, so that's where parentheses come from, I mean, and if you want to ask where, the, where do exponents come from, well, I, th I think we just had a whole video, we just finished making a whole video about that, right? Exponents are just, you know, uh, simply put, they're just a shorthand notation for multiplication, right? The the only thing about PEMDAS, when, when, when uh, people, so what, you know, let me let me write you something right that you might see in a classroom right suppose you have uh, 2 plus 3 to the power 4 times 5 uh, minus 7 divided by 10 whatever right um, so I write if you see something like this and you think oh you know where do I start you know, um, so according to PEMDAS, you start with parentheses, right? So two, so two plus three is five. So you have five uh, parentheses, basically five again to the power four minus seven divided by ten. Okay. So what do you do next? Uh, well, technically, you get, you still get that parentheses, right? But as soon as the parentheses, is, as soon as you don't have a mess inside of parentheses and all you have is just one and only one number inside of parentheses at, at that point you can actually just drop the parentheses this will be equivalent to 5 times 5 to the power 4 minus 7 plus 10 you know again you can drop the parentheses as soon as there's only one and only one number right and then funnily enough 5 times 5 times 4 will be you know 5 to the power 1 times 5 to the power 4 that will be 5 to the power 5 minus 7 over 10 right I mean where would you go there after that well the place you would go after that is I mean what can you do right so no parentheses I guess we need to take care of this exponent you would have to type in the calculator what 5 to the power of 5 is equal to um, and then subtract the 7 divide the 10 right uh, so why why the, why subtract the seven before dividing the ten if, if if division comes before subtraction? Well, because technically speaking, you can you can think of this thing, this 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 fraction as parentheses, 
right? So, so in a way, you're, it's like you're not really done with parentheses. So you gotta take care of this before you divide by ten. Okay. Well, so again, you know, maybe I, maybe by by this video, I already confused you more than helped you, right? Well, what I'm saying is, you know, what I'm saying is, don't sweat PEMDAS. Don't sweat it, you know. Um, what what I would say is, you know, everything that I, if you've seen all the prologue videos. Uh, I, I think you're in the right track. Uh, I think Pem does this again. I think it's just first of all, again, I don't like how they introduce it with with this is this is not real math. I'm just gonna say it out loud. No one writes that ever, except again for the first time you take an algebra class and that's about it. But after that, you're never seeing this again. You know, you're never seeing this 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 symbol for multiplication, and you're never seeing this symbol for division. Well, I mean. I mean, you do, I guess. There's, there's, there are times where, like, you have a a, a fractional function, right? Like x plus five over x minus three, and then they write divided by two uh, x over x plus one, right? Like, okay, this is the only time where you're gonna see the division sign again, right? And and all you're supposed to do is that dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the multiplicative inverse, which by now, if you've seen the, the fraction videos, you should know, oh, that just means flip, flip them, right? x plus 1, 2x, and like, that's it, right? That's the only time you're going to see this in the future, right? So what about this, you know, how do you do this? I mean, yeah, you, you can, I mean, you can refer to PEMDAS, I'm not saying that it's, PEMDAS is not necessarily wrong, it's just that, uh, you know, I can see people get 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 uh, frustrated with like, what's the next step? You know, like, uh, like I said over here, you know, why why am I not dividing by ten before I subtract the seven? You know, okay, so so basically, you know, again, that I don't I don't know if I if I did a good enough job about uh, talking trash about PEMDAS, right? So again, instead, what I'm what I'm gonna leave you is. Uh, I'm gonna basically summarize the entire prologue series on on, on to, and that's gonna be the last prologue video. I guess technically this one is a prologue video, uh, although you're really not learning learning uh, learning anything new. But uh, the next video I will just summarize. Okay, suppose again you really don't care about the explanations at all of why these statements are true, right? You know why are you allowed to add the same thing to both sides? You know. Why are you allowed to raise a number to a power and then raise it to a different power and it's equal to, you know, a to the power n and then raise to the power m equal a to the power n times n. You know, again, if you don't care about the technicalities and then you just want to know what am I allowed to do? What's a valid mathematical manipulation when I do my homework or whatever, right? That's what the next video will be about. Basically, I'll just, I'll just skip any type of explanation and just tell you, okay, this is what you're allowed to do in math class more or less and as far as what you're not allowed to do well there's an infinite need there's an infinite amount of things that you're not allowed to do right so I mean I wouldn't have time to make a video about that you, but how do you check if, if a step is appropriate or not well you can always check because again you know you should have the you should have the tools by now so for example like you know is 2 times x plus 5 cube equal to you know, can you multiply the two inside? Is this equal to two times x plus two times five cube? You know, can you do that? Well, I mean, can you think of a reason why you can or why you cannot do that? I feel like that's the more uh, meaningful question to you that I would give you. You know, like, how would you check if this if that's a legit move? How can you prove it or disprove it, right? I'll, I'll, like I said, I cannot make a video of like, what are the steps that you cannot do? Because there's infinitely many steps that you cannot do, you know? Even if I try to tell you, okay, these are the most common mistakes that students make. Uh, students are amazing at, at how wrong they can be at math. So, it will be like a video that will get uh, outdated really quickly. So, okay. Again, I think, I probably didn't sway you about how, how to feel about PEMDAS, but I'm just saying, uh, 
yeah, don't sweat it. If you if you're not a, if you don't really get PEMDAS or or whatnot, uh, don't sweat it. You know, go by the axioms and other statements that I've proved so far. Or I don't know, maybe you're a, a very a strong believer of PEMDAS. You know, maybe maybe you can try to sway me. Leave it down in the comments. Well, okay, you know, I'll, I'll leave it there. So yeah, right? You write math this way. You know. You, you, you basically write equations this way, not this way, you know, that's the takeaway. Alright, again, uh, make sure to like the video, and again, if, if, if you want to defend PEMDAS, if you want to be a PEMDAS simp, uh, leave it down in the comments. Until next time.